think that does the job. Right, so it looks like we're finally going to get the cedar delivered off, which is great news. Hopefully it means we can actually start planting in today. So that will be exciting stuff. And I have actually spoken to George. He hasn't confirmed it yet, but I think he might be open to the idea of me planting something arable. Now, on a bit of a side note, I think George might have bought something again. So, we're obviously buying the cedar. We're taking the tedder. They're going to buy that back, the dealership are. But also, he's told me to clean off the, the row or the rake because that's going to the dealership as well. So that's a bit confusing. Um, and then... As I was doing the jobs, he did say to me that they're on the way. They should be here any time. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what's actually turning up. I don't know what George ends up buying. I know he always says the brand new, which always turns out to be second hand. So, I guess we just have to wait and see. But I'm, yeah, pretty much just waiting now. A few jobs today, hopefully going to sell the bales. He said that's the plan today. He hasn't, still hasn't told me where we're selling them. I'm not sure he even knows himself. But we are going to sell the bales today. That's a fact. And then, fingers crossed, we can actually get that planter out in the field. That would be pretty decent if we can do that. But anyway, I'll uh, try and keep myself busy until we wait for this delivery. Right, looks like this is for us. No, I definitely noticed that cedar. So that's the one me and George picked out. But that, to me, looks like a new row. Or a second-hand row, should I say. Yeah, that certainly is, isn't it? Well done, George. I think that's, uh, that is a better model. It's going to suit us. Look at us now. Getting some good parts here for the farm. Still the right size for what we do, but yeah, I'm happy with this. Right, I guess we need to do this as quick as possible. Take these off because we are blocking the road. So I'll just go quickly speak to the driver. I'm sure he'll probably want us to be as quick as possible. I do like it when we buy new things for the farm. It's uh, pretty exciting stuff. Makes me think I could have used that row when we were doing the, uh, the hay. Even though that hay bob's really good, it leaves a row out at the same time. We could have probably made them probably two rows into one if we use that. So uh, that's kind of blocked me in. I'm gonna to have to go across the grass. I hope they don't mind. I know that George that's probably George's property, but someone's actually in it. And he definitely hasn't kicked them ones out yet. Yeah, so let's try and take the cedar off first and then we'll park it just in the yard. We don't need to put it away just yet. I think I'm alright there. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that's spot on. Let's just quickly jump up here. There we go, that's that. We'll put everything in. I think that's alright. Let's jump back up here. A little bit of an awkward spot, but uh, let's see how we get on. Slowly does it. Ooh, nearly slid off, that did. That wasn't the, uh, the cleanest. Exit off the trailer, but we did the job. Did hear some scratching, so we're gonna have to check that. That's not ideal, is it? To scratch it as soon as you get it. Um, I mean, it's got a few scratches on, but still, I hope George didn't see that. So yeah, I'm trying to do this as quick as possible just because if any car comes. Luckily we're alright, and it is a quiet lane outside the farm, it's not like we're on a busy main road. In fact, it'd probably be easier if it was a busy main road, because you might have somewhere to pull over. That's that done. Look at that. Spot on. I'm going to be using that today. I'm going to make sure of it. I'm going to speak to George straight after this, and um, I'm going to mention to him about seeds, because we're going to need to buy some. Now, I also got the results back from the lab. They didn't read very well, put it that way. We, uh, we've got quite acidic soil, and we've also got hardly any nitrogen, phosphorus, or potassium in the field. 
So that's not ideal at all. So we'll have to speak to George about it just to see what he would like to do. I don't think, with this being a bit of a tester, I'm not so certain he's going to want to spend any money leasing out anything for the lime. I'm hoping he wants to do weeding and yeah, some weeding and some fertiliser though. That's I think that's the bare minimum. We're not we aren't removing the stones, and I doubt he's going to let us do any lime to bring the pH down. Well, up should I say? So I want it to be less well, a bit more neutral, a bit more friendly. Right, look at this row. I love it. And it's a definite upgrade. I'm going to have to give George a pat on the back for this. Right, so there we go. So now, I think we should probably do the row first. It's going to be difficult to put this on, just because it's a little bit of a nightmare to reverse this. But we are going to need to back it up for them, so when they take it off, it's uh, a little bit easier. Right, so that's that. I think we can do this. If we get this on, the, the last one will be pretty easy. I think we might have made this guard a bit of a mess, but I'll let George handle that. You can tell him. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. I don't think this is going to be ideal at all. We might have to speak to the driver about this. I don't think this is wise. It's a shame we can't fold it. Right, so I've just folded that in the best I could. And I'm hoping now it's better. I mean, the driver has just told me to go for it. So we're just going to go for it. First things first, we're going to try and do that a lot better. I've got a feeling George is laughing at me through that window. I'm pretty certain of it. It's close, that is close. It's not going to be easy to back this on. We're going to have to try. We are hanging now. Not ideal for the axle, so... Mm, this is trickier than it should be. I think George knew this. He did. I do think George knew all about this. Let's try this again. We got there. We got there in the end. That was a nightmare. I will happily say that that was not ideal. It really wasn't. We are, I'm definitely thankful now that there's been no cars coming. But yeah, it's on and that's the main thing. So last but not least is the tether. And that should be straightforward. Did not enjoy reversing that windrow. Just shows how easy this one is to manoeuvre. Right, say goodbye to the Tedder and the Row. It's definitely strapped down pretty well. And uh, yeah, off she goes. Uh, I do think I've done a bit of damage to this garden though. Look at all the tyre tracks. Mm, yeah, I'll definitely have to mention something to George. Anyway, at least we've done that. That was a bit of a task in itself. I'll turn the beacons off now. Let's go and have a quick look at this. We're going to speak to George because we need to figure out what the plan is. I mean, we started at 6 and it's already nearly 9. I'd like to get planting by at least midday if he allows us to. He might just want to go for grass. If that is the case, then fine, no problem. That is entirely up to George. But, uh, yeah, I think, or hope, should I say, that we're allowed to just test out a bit of crop. I think canola. We can do straw as well from canola. Um, it is the most common source of straw with wheat in the UK. Um, they also turn it into ground straw, which is like bedding as well. So it'd be ideal to do a bit of canola 
It seems like everyone's growing barley to sell and uh, doing a bit of wheat as well, which gives them some good straw. But I think canola should be a good idea for us. Look at this. I'm over the moon with this. It's uh, pretty decent. You can see that it's used, but at least they've cleaned it off and they've cleaned this off. I noticed from when I actually looked at it at the dealership, it was a bit dirty. So they have cleaned it off. Probably give it a bit of a service, making sure that it works. And this is going to do the job perfectly. So yeah, let's go and have a chat with George, give him a bit of an update. He probably was looking outside the window at all that. Um, let's see what he's got to say about it. Right, George, that's all done. I dropped off the rope and I also loaded up the tether. They've taken that. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm laughing at nothing. I'm laughing at nothing. Uh, did you enjoy yourself? Did I enjoy myself? Were you watching me out the window by any chance? I wasn't just watching you. I made myself a cup of tea. I wish I had that camera again. You had fun with that row, didn't you? Oh, it was a nightmare, George. Absolute nightmare. I couldn't get it on. I must have tried about six times. The driver was looking at me like I was insane, like his first day on the job. Oh, I'm glad you did that instead of me. I would have given up and drove it in the river. Well, at least it's gone now. I have to say, George, cracking choice on the row. I think that row is uh, a proper good upgrade. Hopefully it didn't cost you too much money, especially with the next question I'm going to ask you. Uh, it was all right. I think I got a good deal for what it is. It's definitely probably one of the best pieces of kit I've bought in a long time. But I thought we're going to need it. We're going to need to do a lot more grass, a lot more hay, hopefully silage in the future for when we get the cows. So I think it's a good investment. But anyway, now you've got me worried. What's this question? Right, so you've got the cedar. And I think time of year that we're in now, September, would be the perfect time to plant some canola. Now, I know what you're saying. I don't know if you want to go down that route. So before you say it, just hear me out. I think we should do rapeseed all around the village. Every farm I see that they're doing arable, they're doing barley or they're doing wheat. They're doing barley to sell or they're doing wheat to sell with a bit of straw. But everyone's missed on the canola. There's no canola feeds anywhere. I think it's going to raise the price. I get that it's just a small field. It's a bit of a tester for us. But why not do some canola, some rapeseed, and we can do some straw? The most common straw they sell in the UK is rapeseed. We can get some of that. We can keep it for ourselves, save, save buying it, or if you want to, we can sell it. So my question to you is, can we buy some canola seeds? Can I plant it in now and let it grow over winter, harvesting for next next this time, probably this time next year? And then also, are you happy to lease out some kind of spreader with, with some solid fertilizer? I think that's easier for us. And then a weeder. Oh, God, you ask some questions, don't you? I don't know. I mean, I like the idea of it. You've done a lot of thinking behind it, Scroft, and I'm, I'm impressed, I have to say. You've obviously planned this out. Mm, yeah, I do trust you, like I said. Do you know what? Let's do it. Let's plant some canola. We'll get the harvester fixed. That's a priority. And depending on the price, that's all I'm going to say, depending on the price to lease out some kind of spreader, and the price of the fertiliser, because it's got, it has gone up. I know a lot of people have been moaning around the village about the price of fertiliser. So it has gone up. But depending on the price of that, depending on the price of leasing out a weeder as well, is where we'll go. So if you can come back to me, I'll leave this with you. If you can come back to me with a reasonable deal, and it, I'll, I'll happily pay for it. But you're not leaving it to me. This is on you. This is your task. You've got to go out and find this equipment. You've got to go out and come up with some deal with someone to lease it and then you need to get your Dow boy cap on so you can actually broker a good deal for us and if you can do that I'll, I'll happily do it and I'll happily pay for some seeds if you want to go up to the shop today and get them that's fine you want to plant it today I'm happy with that as well right George that sounds perfect to me I'll get that done today and I'll make sure we get a good deal I'm really up for this I think it's good for the farm obviously we're going to be focusing on the cows but it'd be nice to do some arable on the side just to Obviously give us some straw, but also bring in that extra source of cash. Right, so I'll go to the dealership then and crack on. Ah! No, you won't, Scroft. First, you've got to head all the way down to the animal market and take them bales. We're selling eight bales to them. £45 a bale I got. That's not bad going. So you need to take it down. And you're also going to have to use the Massey because they want them unloading. So front loader, Massey, 
take it down, unload the bales, and then you can head up and, and get all this stuff sorted out. Okay, no problem. I think that gives me enough time. I can get that done, get back, get some seeds, and I can start planting. But that being said, I best get a move on. Cheers, George. I'll, I'll come back to you later with an update. Right, so... We can do this. This is going to be tricky, but we're going to... Yeah, we're going to do this. So, we're going to need the bale spy, can't we? I think it is attached to the load all, so let's sort that out first. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to take the Massey. Right, so that's that sorted, but the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go and have to get the hose because we can't be taking that down with what looks like manure on that because that's going to need to take some bales and drop them off for a customer so last thing you want to do is get any manure on it so let's just give this a quick blast before we load up and then we'll head off at least we don't have to load them up on the trailer we've already done that part it's just going to be unloading and i think it's going to be perfect for us to head straight down to the dealership after and buy ourselves some seeds canola seeds because we're already going to have a trailer on the back and the space to load them up. There we go. I think that's much better. Much more professional. Make sure the number plate's clean. So yeah, let's get this sorted out and head down. It's not too far away. It's a bit of a drive in total to get from the farm to the animal market and then also to get to the dealership but overall I think we can do it in three hours because I want to get back and start planting by midday there we go that's that we're all strapped up let's just check before we start driving off yep yeah, all them are secure right that's that then let's head up to the animal market and uh, make a bit of money for George. This is the whole point of doing this, hey? So I'm happy that he found. And also, £45 a bale. That's not bad going. That wasn't bad at all. Ah, right, we're at the farmer's market. Now, I've got a feeling it's going to be down here because this is the animal part see some bales which is a good sign so what I'll probably have to do is speak to someone just to make sure we're at the right spot and then we're also taking it to the right spot I have to say this Massey struggled to get up the bank it really did we got here so let me go speak to someone and find out what the crack is hey, it looks like the sun's coming out that's a great sign I know the weather starting off a bit cloudy this morning, but we have got forecasts for a bit of sun later on, and it's starting to appear. Right, so they've just paid me the money, and they told me to drop it off here by the skip on the other side, so just about here should be fine. I'm just trying to think the best angle to do this on. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get this probably positioned a little bit better, and then we can... Start unloading it. it. Shouldn't take me too long. Yeah, that's spot on. Much better. Plenty of room. So, we'll unhook. We'll uh, take the strapping off. And then we can start loading this down the bottom there. Uh, there we go. Last one. It did take me longer than I expected just because there's not enough weight on the back. I tried to pick up two at the start and I didn't like it at all, so I've been doing it one by uh, single bale. And I think it's about half ten now, so an hour and a half to get down to the dealership, get some seeds and bring them back. And it's going to take me probably 45 minutes to drive down to the dealership. I mean, even if we have to plant into the evening, we'll, uh, we'll get it done. Tell you what, that was a, a long and bumpy drive. It's a 
suspension on this thing's awful. It really is. Alright, so I don't know where I'm going to park this. I'm just trying to think how they're going to load it on for me. Because I'm not going to be able to load this on, so I'm hoping they can do that. I'll tell you what, if we just park it here, I'm hoping I'm not in the way of this thing. It looks like they've sold a tractor. So let's just reverse it here, and then if they do need me to move, I can always shift after. There we go. That'll be fine. Job done. Right, let's go speak to them. And I'm hoping they'll put it straight onto George's account. There we go. Frontier. Quality certified seeds. Reaching new horizons in food and farming. There we go. Job done. So all we need to do now is just head back to the farm. Get the seed sorted out. We're going to have a quick look at that. Make sure it's all ready. To uh, plant in some canola. And uh, yeah, we'll put the seeds in. And we'll uh, start getting it into the ground. Perfect time of year. Perfect weather to plant it in. It's kind of all falling nicely. field we're going to be working on. So all we need to do, like I said, is just drop this off and hopefully the seed will work a treat. I mean, we haven't even tried it yet since we've had it. We just assume that uh, they're selling us something in working order, so fingers crossed it does. It should do. We'll just pull it over here. Um, I am hopeful that the, the Ford, the steep nose, has got enough power to do this. Fingers crossed. I don't think George is going to let us use the other Ford, speaking as it's something that we're taking on ourselves. But uh, yeah, let's have a quick look at this then first before we get started on this. Check all the hoses, check all the connections. Just have a look round, see if we can see anything that's going to cause an issue. I mean... I'd be very surprised with it being straight from the dealership. Um, so far, so good. I think this is ready for use. So, what we'll do is we'll get it hooked up, we'll move it over there, then we'll get the load all with the pallet fork to pick up the big bag and load it into there. Steady as she goes on this one. I don't want to drop this bag straight away after we've just spent 200 quid on it. They did put it on his account, so it is on George, this is, and I've, I do own £360 that I've got in my pocket. Alright, so we'll let that do its thing. There we go. So that's completely filled up. Perfect, perfect bag size for what we've got. And you can see now we're full. We're full on seeds, ready to go. Quickly part this up. We'll put the cover on to seed it, and uh, yeah, we'll get cracking in the field. Looking forward to this. I think it's going to turn out really good. I really do. Now I'm hoping them stones don't damage the cedar too much, but. We'll find out. They are only small stones. If there were some massive ones, I'd probably walk around the field and try and take them out. But there is a few small ones, though. Fingers crossed. I mean, it's 50-50, really. We might do something. But if we take our time and go slow, we're less likely to do any damage. It's not ideal, but I think it just costs too much to go and get ourselves some kind of bucket. I mean, we'd have to go around and hand-pick them out. Just put them in a bucket and that's just going to take too long. Like I said, it's not ideal, but I think it's just the best solution for us at the moment, currently. Alright, so the cover's on. I've just turned it on just to check. Everything seems to be working. Which it is. Looks pretty good. And then we need to basically just 
lower it down and off we go and we'll do the job and start sowing in these seeds all right so steady as she goes on this first pass i have lowered it down and you can see that it's doing its job we are planting in and the tractor's having no trouble with this a bit dusty obviously it's a bit dry out we've had a Quite a long patch now of uh, some nice weather. But yeah, overall, really happy with that. Really am. Well, I'm probably going to try and plan this out and skip a row. Just to make it easier on the turns. But let's go and have a quick look at this. That is spot on. It's left a nice bed. And I'm happy with the outcome of that. I really am. So I guess all we need to do now is just crack on. I think good time, perfect weather as well, to throw up the drone. So I'll get it up and we'll get some nice aerial shots of me getting through this. It's going to take me some time to do this. We're going to take our time as well. We're going to slow it down just so we get it right and don't do any damage on this pretty much brand new second-hand cedar. we've done it we've actually gone and done it we've planted in some rapeseed and I think it's turned out better than I expected that cedar is such a good piece of kit and it's done the job so well it didn't really feel the stones too much and it kind of rolled the stones back into the ground which is brilliant news I just think yeah, I just didn't expect it to turn out as well as it has. Um, and it wasn't too much of a task, really. I mean, we are about five o'clock. So I've got a good hour now to finish off some of the jobs around the farm, park some of the kit away. But yeah, overall, this is much better than expected. Right, let's head back. It does need cleaning off. I'll make sure to do that. That's got a bit of dirt on it and I think all I need to do is sort out just go check the cows out give them a bit of, probably a bit more hay top them up overnight check that the water's fine I do keep checking that even though it's now fixed the pump I do 
try and keep an eye on it just in case it packs in again. Definitely going to need water all the time, so that's a good idea to check that out. Like I said, I will park some of the kit away. And I'll, keep, I'll also clean the cedar off. And yeah, just try and tidy up a bit. I might even have a quick look at the row just to see how it actually looks when it's working and unfolded properly. Well, I guess we're not going to use that anytime soon, but it's nice to have that upgrade. But yeah, plenty of jobs for me to do, but I, I do want to try and get them done in an hour, so I'm just going to crack on with that. But again, another productive day on the farm. Really happy that we've planted in the canola. So I'm just going to quickly give George's £360 from the bales, and then I'll finish off the jobs for the day.